Don't worry, I'm not gonna tell anyone about you and Mercedes. For the last time, there's nothing going on between me and Mercedes. All right. I only came over to make sure we're still on for dinner later. Yeah. Yeah, sure. You can tell me all about you being in love with Mercedes then. Sorry, I meant you not being in love with Mercedes. See, these are the fine details we can iron out over a nice Italian. Do you like Italian? Or are you a burger man? You look more like a burger man. No offence. Do you not want to go or something? Yeah. Yeah, of course I do. I've got some work to do first, though. Listen to me. This whole Mercedes thing, I need you to understand that if you were to tell anyone about that, someone could get seriously hurt. Yeah, I, I know. Do you? Trust me. Felix has got enough going on without having his life turned upside down by something that isn't even true. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. I'll find us a place to eat. Say about five? You might have to pay, though, just cos I'm a child and that. <laughs> right, here we go. These are the menus and the nights we've got in the loft. I thought we could uh, get our heads together and take a look how we can improve the business. Yeah, I can see why you'd want to do that, considering you've given your other business away to your friend and his girlfriend. Wait a minute, what, you... you... You give the garage to Felix and Mercedes? No. I gave Mercedes 10% so they could have more control. I've still got my stake. It just means I have to be there less. Look, I didn't bring you here to talk me out of it. So why are we here, then? Well, as a family, I just thought we could, you know, help bring this place up today. Well, maybe you can start by looking at this drinks menu. <laughs> why, what's wrong with the drinks menu? Uh, Joe, what do you think? Well, <clears throat> no, to be fair, I think the wine list was more extensive when I used to take communion. <laughs> <laughs> but all I'm saying is, why don't we just do a drinks taste then? Try some new stuff. Worst way is to spend an afternoon. Yeah, maybe you can get Mercedes and Felix involved. She knows the way around a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Have you spoke to Ella? Yeah. Good. It's kind of her blowing up my relationship with this hangover today. I think I shut it down. You think? Hmm. I'm detecting a trace of lemon. That's because there's lemon in it, look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'll be the non alcoholic ones for these guys from now on. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? I don't know exactly what you're implying, but I've killed men for less. I don't even know if she's joking. She's dead serious. Just laugh along. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know what teenage girls are like? They think there's love around every corner. I told her it's in her head. She'll be fixated on something else next week. And what if she isn't? Felix is a man on the edge. And if he finds out about me and you... Do you not think I know that? I told you. I'll shut her down. Hey! What are you two conspiring about? Oh, Warren's probably just signing his house over to her. <laughs> That's not funny. Didn't fancy dinner, then? Oh, uh, I thought you were going to ring. I did. Like, five times. Sorry. My phone must have been on silent. Well, if we leave now, we might still be able to make it. You see, the thing is, I'm sort of in the middle of something. A work thing. But we can do it another time, though, yeah? Do you have any idea how lonely it's been for me around here since my mum went away? Because I thought out of everyone, you would. I'm doing my best, Ella. Are you? I never expected you to be the answer to all my problems, but I expected a bit more than this. It's like every time I try and fill the void my mum left with someone, they just tell me to do one. Ella! Is everything all right? Yeah, we were supposed to be going out for dinner, but I got distracted. I see. Let's do it another time, though, yeah? Nonsense! 
We've closed the club. We can all hang out together right now. Come on, Ella. Come on up. You and I can stick to the mocktails. Sorry about Warren. I'm afraid that separating ourselves from people that matter to us is something of a trait on our side of the family. I just think he's trying to avoid me. Of course he isn't. Why would you think something like that? Oh, can I have a word? Listen, I, um, I wanted to apologise. Yeah, well, when you said you were busy with something, I didn't think you meant drinking with your mates. I'm working. And I'm not even drinking. Look, if you're bored, why don't you go home? We can go out for a meal another time. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Get me out of the way so you can't tell Felix you're making moves on his girlfriend. Hey, My ears are burning. Sorry, what? <laughs> you mentioned my name. You're slagging me off, aren't you? <laughs> you alright? Sit down. Have you any idea? the trouble that you could have caused out there. I wasn't going to say anything to Felix, all right? Yeah. What's this? I was going to give it you after. It's a ticket to go and see your mum. You said you were missing her. Everything OK? Yeah, fine. You paying me off? That's not what this is. The stuff I was saying about... I was just trying to get your attention. I want to be in your life, that's all. You don't need to do this. You can be in my life. I'm just busy right now. I'll still be here when you get back. Warren! Mercedes! I'm sorry, Ella. Now it's just... It's not a good time. I see Ella's gone. Shame you didn't make that dinner with her earlier. I'll make it up to her. She seemed to think that you're trying to avoid her. Any idea why that might be? I know you didn't stick around long enough in my life to find out, but teenagers are temperamental. It's all in her head. <laughs> <laughs>